There's a long history of using the imagery of beached whales. They're sort of seen as harbingers of doom. I think at this current point in climate crisis, it's quite a potent image. My name's Mella Shaw, I'm an artist using clay. I'm based in Edinburgh in Scotland. Over the last seven to eight years, I've been making work about the environmental climate crisis that we find ourselves in. The project for BCB that I'm making is called Sounding Line. It's about these mass beachings of whales that have been happening all across Britain, but particularly in Scotland. One of the main reasons behind it is this increase in the use of sonar to search for enemy submarines and also to search for new oil reserves. I had the idea to make some clay using beached whale bone. The bone has to be sintered, which means fired to around about 1,000 degrees. And once I've um, fired it, it basically is bone ash at that stage, so then I can pulverise it in a mortar and pestle. I had lots of different ideas of different things I could make, and it wasn't until I was actually sketching from the different parts of the whale's skulls that I found these absolutely tiny bones. And those inner ear bones, I've taken those shapes and blown them up. I'm not making exact replicas of those bones, so I want them to be a little bit mysterious and ambiguous in their form. So they've actually become quite a lot more bodily than the original shapes. People who visit the exhibition will have a kind of bodily experience of what it feels like to be a whale disorientated by this sonar. The forms themselves will be strung up using marine rope and there will be a pulse put through the rope. The whole project is a kind of consciousness raising exercise, I guess, to draw attention to how we can actually affect change and make legislation to protect the, the whales. <laughs>